ITR Boxing. You heard it here first. Pretty cool videos. And I heard they're also in HD. ITRboxing.com. Changing somebody's life that you know they can never be able to probably pay you back, but just doing it out of the kindness of your heart because you know you can. And that's one of the biggest things I want to get out of boxing as well. Let's, what you're speaking to is something why Aldi's one of my favorite fighters. He was, for me, a symbol of hope. And it, I didn't realize this till I was older, but it was, it was almost like Michael Jordan, too. If I couldn't do it, I'd just say Mo, Muhammad Ali could do it. Or if yeah. I can't do it, Michael Jordan could do it. And it sounds goofy, but that kind of summarizes what I kind of think your statement is, is you want someone that feels hopeless or someone that feels like they can't do something to say Money Powell could do it, and that that would be the spark that would cause a new generation to have hope behind you yeah yeah you know what i mean people people need hope people always want to find hope in something and it's funny you say that because uh i actually was having this conversation with my girlfriend maybe about two or three weeks ago um we were talking about how for a lot of people it's always it's always hard for people to make that first step if nobody else has ever done it if nobody's ever done it but when you see somebody else do it, even if it is something major, you'll be like, well, they did it, so maybe I can do it too, you know? It only takes one person. And once one person does it, like a domino effect, other people start trying to do it as well. So people always want to have hope in somebody or something. And uh, to be able to be the person that carries that kind of weight on your shoulders, is it's a big responsibility, but it's a, it's a noble one, like I said earlier. And it's a really respectable one, and I, it's something that should be treat it with a lot of respect when people do listen to you and look look at you with that kind of respect you know it's something major well i think that what touches me about your story is a you're a kind person and you mean you want to do something bigger than the sport of boxing which a lot of people their goals are strictly in boxing it seems like your goals are the community secondly i think for people that are unaware your coach is in a wheelchair and I think that that's a unique story for a lot of people, that that's another story of hope, because yeah. that's a story that hasn't been told very often, if ever, in boxing, is the coach that's in the wheelchair that has a high-level fighter. Yes, and that's actually another thing that I had, um, I've been telling my coach this for years, because my, me and my coach started working with each other when I was 19, I mean, uh, not 19, excuse me, when I was 15, and I'm 23 now so all we're, we're on year number eight together and I've been telling him since I was 15 years old one day coach I'm gonna get you your legs back so one day when I do get to that level I do get to that big money and I got the following I got the people I know I'm gonna at least try to get the best doctor to see what they can do to get coaches legs back because I vowed to him one day we're, at least we're gonna have you walk one time and he's always told me, he said, man, if you can do that, that's going to be the best story in into my book. Because he's writing a book, you know, about all of us, about his chapters and everything. And, uh, you know, even if it happens when I'm when I'm done boxing, if I just get to that point, man, just to be able to, for, for a coach to be able to have run into me and I ran into coach and we had this long journey together. And at the end, man, we got his legs back. You know, that'd be something amazing. Man, I know it's going to happen. I'm not going to say it's going to, I'm going to speak it into existence. It will happen one day. Um, but for now, we're enjoying the journey. We're enjoying the process. And, uh, you know, we're loving everything that comes with it, the good and the bad, because it's just helping mold the career and mold the story into something even more beautiful. Well, I think even as a metaphor, you have brought his legs back already. Because you gave him, you gave him new life. You gave him new identity. So, I mean, sure, the you want to bring his legs back regularly, but I think already what you've accomplished in fighting on major televisions and winning international tournaments, you've, you've done a lot to kind of bring those legs back already. Crazy. Cause I never thought about it like that. 